Alright, let's give it a test. Test one, two, three. Nice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to D2 Nights first ranking. Sunday, February 9th, 2014. Gotta pause here, we're gonna play that sucker. So, it looks like tonight we got D2 Night on Jack's Jungle. Interesting. Usually, uh, more often than not, we see DT playing uh, Jack's top, but uh, it's like uh, top was already called there by Yasuro. <laughs> so, uh, gonna be uh, jungle today for DT tonight. So, uh, let's see. In the uh, the enemy jungler, Jack's opponent's gonna be Warwick today. Um, just move you guys Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Please in top. Wait, what the fuck? Ezreal's mid, I guess. Okay, haven't seen that in a while. Ezreal mid. Looks like he's uh, definitely going for that AP Ezreal build. We'll see how that turns out for him. Uh, really, I don't have much to uh, much insight about that. I haven't seen Ezreal mid in uh, quite a while. Um, let's see. Uh, looks like just a pretty standard start by both teams. Uh, both junglers starting at blue. Not really gonna see any attempts at an invade. Lisa and Leona watching their respective reds. So it's gonna be a pretty calm start for the game. Jack's actually starting that Durant's plate, so uh, free going his, uh, his hunter's machete. Uh, looks like he's not gonna build that. That sight stone, or excuse me, the uh, the spear stone uh, into another jungling item. Um, but I feel like you know Jack's 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 damage output and sustain. Uh, is enough that you would want just another standard item rather than uh, <clears throat> you know a jungling item, uh, especially for the late game because you know, Jax just scales incredibly hard in the late game. Uh, talking about the other lane matchups, looks like we got Yasuo and Lee Sin. Um, I haven't seen enough Yasuo to be able to tell what's going to happen there. Um, I I can say that you know of course he's got his moon wall which. Uh, assuming he times it right, it's going to be able to block those resonating strikes. Um, or excuse me, um... Yeah, Sonic Wave, resonating strike. <coughs> um, so Yasuo does have that to his advantage, uh, but Lee Sin's early game, his, uh, skirmish potential, his damage is, uh, going to be tough to beat for Yasuo, I think. So, no clue how that one's going to count. Looks like Ziggs getting a pretty early lead on Ezreal here. Already has Ezreal down to uh, just about 200 HP there. Um, and we see some early aggression to play too. Uh, both both, both champions are going to be taking some damage from the other. Um, both taking some damage from minions. So plays bottom lane. Ooh, Leona hits the hits her Zenith blade right as Annie flashes. Takes her right into the tower. Two tower shots. But uh, god, look at how much health she has. Considering that she's level 2, she didn't take that much damage. From the tower shot. Uh, looks like Yasuo is in a bit of a lead here, top lane. Um, he's gonna be able to poke out Lee Sin, it looks like, with his, uh, his Q there. Steel Tempest. Oh, wow. This one or two more auto attacks, and that would have been a first look for Yasuo. Uh, he is absolutely dominating this lane right now. Um, definitely hitting level 3 for Lee Sin there. Steel Tempest is his Q, I think. Yep. Wind Wall. Meanwhile, we see it looks like Jack maybe Jacks came down maybe to look for a, a lane gank on purple team there, but uh, oh, Annie going so low and Leona picking up the kill with that last hit with the tick of the night it looks like, but is Draven gonna be able to turn this around onto Vayne? It doesn't really look like it. Vayne, ooh, wants him. Gonna try and proc that as much damage as she can from Leona's passive. The barrier Draven already used his, and that's gonna be another kill for the bot lane blue team. Uh, wow, blue team definitely just winning all across the board here. Uh, Yasuo, some extreme lame dominance in top lane. Uh, only level 4 at this point, and even now, Lee Sin able to land those, uh, those sonic waves. Uh, just not gonna be able to do anything to Yasuo. Now, what Yasuo is gonna have to look out for is just a little too over aggressive, which, you know, definitely happens, especially down here with Silver Tears. Um, when you start just crushing a lane like this, you you know, players tend to get really greedy and uh, dive under tower to the tower hit. 
does take two, and that, that, that has been the fall of many a dominating top player. Uh, I know especially Mania Singed, um, you know, his, his, his early game is pretty weak, and so people with high damage output early game will try to use that, for instance, maybe Pantheon or Renekton. Um, and they will take one too many tower shots, and then you'll be able to get a well placed fling in and actually pick up the first blood. So, hopefully, for Yasuo, that's not going to happen. But wow, look at this, this crazy damage he's putting on Lee right now. Lee Sin able to mitigate it, actually, some of that. Oh, Ignite mean, goes down on Yasuo. Not really sure about that. Um, maybe it's for a early kill. Yasuo does still have a Ignite, so. Oh yeah, and that's gonna be you, boy. Lee Sin gonna be able to heal out of that one just barely. Not heal, but not gonna quite take him down. Uh, Yasuo having tanked a couple tower shots and uh, some mini damage there. Both players are definitely gonna be in a very precarious position here. Both summoner spells burn. Warwick looks like he's coming up to help out. Uh, is he gonna catch? Oh, he does have the blood scent on Yasuo, so that's gonna spell trouble for Yasuo. Um, but can Yasuo pick up the kill on Lee Sin first? Certainly not. Warwick is going to be able to bring him down with that blood sin on him. Uh, track him down with the purple team jungle there. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, folks, when, it, when I'm talking about, uh, you know, dominating lane, just getting too aggressive. Yasuo did not only dive Lee Sin, dive past his tower, put himself at probably about 50 health in the enemy team jungle, uh, and, you know, met his end for that. I'll take that. So the lane actually, well, not really in Lee Sin's favor because he didn't didn't wind up picking that up that kill, and Yasuo is still leading in the CS. But Warwick, so we'll see how that goes for both teams. But uh, given that Lee Sin did not pick up that kill, looks like Yasuo, I would guess, is still going to be able to dominate this lane. Um, but we just have to see how that plays out. Big place purple team still. Um, a lot of damage going down onto Draven right now. Oh, and a beautiful condemn by uh, Troll Vane. Uh, apparently that's not the case here. Um, as she has picked up two kills already by less than seven minutes in. Um, you know, ordinarily I'd be focusing on D2 Knight right now, but he hasn't actually made any sort of plays or attempting any kind of ganks yet. Uh, it does look like he's coming in top lane, so let's just see what happens here. Um, Oh, he's actually a little under leveled. Uh, maybe we should have been watching him. I don't. He, as a as a jungler, you typically want to be somewhere between uh, your solo laners and your duo laners in terms of level. Um, Jack's actually the lowest level uh, out of anyone right now. Um, maybe he just changed his mind about too many ganks. You know, that's kind of the sacrifice you made when you go for a uh, gank heavy jungler. <laughs> um, that you, you know, lose out on some potential experience, potential gold, uh, to try and secure your team more gold. So I'm thinking maybe he was going for, uh, <clears throat> for some ganks that, uh, just didn't wind up happening. He's gonna move in for this top lane gank. Lee Sin, about half the health, I'm a little skeptical about this. Yeah, not the best coordination there by Yasuo. Um, did wind up taking that tower. I'm not really sure what was going on there. Uh, ooh, Yasuo, this is not good for blue. This is gonna be double for Sin for sure. <clears throat> so that was just a. Oh my god! Oh! That was down to the wire. Wow. If, if Lee Sin's attack speed had been probably half a point lower, uh, Jax would have wound up with that kill there. Uh, we did see a kill in mid lane. Let's go ahead and take a look there. Um, you know, as, as we've seen, Ziggs has been just totally dominating this mid lane. Uh, Ezreal just can't keep up with that AoE poke. Um, his, of course, Mystic Shot. Nope. I don't know if I saw it. Of course, his Mystic Shot is not going to be able to uh, keep up with these bouncing bombs since it uh, gets blocked by Minion. Um, wow. And we just see Ezreal getting rocked by the bouncing bomb. Finished off with a uh, Mega, Inferno, Mega Inferno bomb, so Ziggs just crushing this mid lane here. Not sure what Blue Ezreal was thinking, or excuse me, AP Ezreal. Um, I guess, yeah, no, he would have picked before Zig, so he did not, he just picked that mid lane a little earlier. Um, yeah, not really much to say there. <laughs> Zig's just totally destroying it. Really. Uh, also, purple, purple, bot, blue, blue team bot lane doing very well for himself right now. Looks like Warwick's camping out with bot lane here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, he he wants that Bane. Uh, Bane is extremely low right now. A well-placed ultimate by Warwick. 
Uh, it's gonna allow him to finish that off. A beautiful summon by Leona, followed by Jax. They are gonna pick up Annie. Support. Warwick's gonna have to back off of this one. And uh, maybe Bane can life steal away back to full health here uh, before Draven gets nearby. Meanwhile, we see Ziggs picked up that mid tower for blue team. Warwick's gonna head up to maybe assist Ezreal. Yeah, looks like he is gonna try to cut Ziggs off. He does have his ultimate available, so uh, if, he, if Ezreal's able to capitalize on that, he may pick up a kill there. Uh, but look how low Ezreal is right now. I'm not sure I would want to get anywhere near Ziggs if that's gonna help. Um, and he does both teams back away from that, so there's no action there. Leona, again, nice to Uh, of course her teammates are just a little too far behind to be able to capitalize on that. Draven is gonna get away from that one. But Jax, unbeknownst to purple team, gonna hang out in that bot lane river. Um, not gonna make any plays. Gonna instead look at the purple team's jungle and try to take the rules, perhaps and fight. Um, now as we saw earlier in top lane, Yasuo is being extremely aggressive here, and yes, he is absolutely dominating at least in the lane. However, he's just been taking so much turret damage. Uh, if he <coughs> if he were playing a bit more defensively, I bet he would probably have two kills right now. Uh, instead, because he was so aggressive and he lacked coordination with Jax when Jax came top. Uh, Lee Sin was able to pick up the double, um, so looks like in terms of combat potential, Lee Sin does have a lead on Jax right now. However, we do still see Lee Sin behind Yasuo more than 20 CS, uh, which is going to make up for one of those kills entirely. Uh, these are not going real aggressive here. Oh, okay, I thought he was thinking tower, but it was actually Zig, so uh, nice damage distribution there by Blue Team, uh, picking up the kill on Annie. Actually, we'll go back and watch that from uh, <coughs> Jax's perspective, jump back about a minute here. I kind of have that directed camera do this thing there. So uh, we saw just a minute ago Jax moving into uh, the, the jungle, the protein jungle here. Thought he was going to try to invade, but looks like he's actually going to come around for this gank. Um, starting the white, but not uh, doing anything with it. So we're going to go down a solid 80 HP there before he begins this fight. Um, yeah. Ooh, and he is going to go in. Leo, take a tower. That's a that's great damage distribution there. Um, Leona just getting out uh, with just enough tower hits to stay alive there. Um, Annie stuck at her tower now. Thinks she's gonna be able to hold, but she does not realize that Ziggs is also coming down. Um, and they're gonna engage here. Ziggs is gonna take that tower aggro, and despite the fact that he's the uh, squishy mid laner. He he does know that uh, he has enough health to be able to. Uh, to take enough power, tower hits to let his team get really kill. Warwick's gonna come down, got his infinite duress up, but uh, not enough backup to do anything with that, so he is going back off and just try to alleviate some of his pressure on tower. <clears throat> so, uh, good team right there by purple team. Pretty impressed with this Ziggs play, actually. Um, he's absolutely dominating Ezreal mid lane, and uh, he's putting just the right kind of pressure, making the right kind of plays on the uh, bot lane there. Uh, we'll go back up and look at the top lane. Now it looks like Yasuo may be playing a little bit safer. Um, gonna be able to poke out Lee Sin with his Steel Tempest um, and not engage him under his tower. Um, even Lee Sin landing these sonic waves on Yasuo, he's just doing no damage because uh, they're too few and far between. Uh, Yasuo's passive is able to proc, um, giving him a shield. Warwick, ooh, he's gonna burn the ult on Leona here. I'm not sure that's the best choice though. Uh, he may have wanted to stay and went for his team to be able to lock down a higher priority target. Um, this is gonna be a full fledged dragon fight though. Question is, can Jack smite it? Yes, he can. And Ezreal actually almost picking that up with, um, uh, what's it called? Wow. Okay, we're gonna get back to that Yasuo. Actually, we're gonna watch it. And he's sticking around a little too long in this dragon fight. Uh, we got Ziggs and Bane here, uh, in between Draven and Ezreal and Warwick. Uh, anything gonna happen? I'm guessing that the three purple team members were a little too low to be able to do anything, and otherwise they would collapse up too. Um, so let's get, go back uh, a little bit and take a look at it. First of all, let's <clears throat> do two nice roll and all this. Okay, so we see Warwick's initial aggression on the dragon here. Uh, we don't have Cypher. Well, we do know we have wards both places, so everybody knows this dragon 
going on. Uh, so we we are gonna see uh, eight total champions heading for this dragon to try and contest. Uh, like I said, Leo's gonna get in and be able to s stop. And notice, hang on, let's let's go. Yeah, slow it down. So no, let's speed it up. There we go. So Leo, trying to stop Warwick here, um, puts down the crowd control on him. Meanwhile, Warwick is taking aggression from this dragon, so he is uh, getting his HP chunked away by by Dragon while this is happening. Now watch Ezreal. He's gonna try to hit both his Mystic shot uh, and his Essence flux. He's gonna miss both skill shots, so this might actually be crucial to the to the fight because as we're gonna see, Leo gets away with just a little bit of HP. So maybe if Ezreal had been a little more on point with the skill shots. <clears throat> There's the Mystic Shot whipping. There is the other one. What's the shit? Was Ar nope. Essence Flux. Uh, Warwick burns his ult on Leo. I'm not totally sure about that. Leo is absolutely the tankiest team member of Blue Team here at the moment. Uh, also, obviously, not the highest priority target. I feel like Warwick maybe should have waited for some of his other team to show up. However, I do think that Purple Team was not aware of the. Uh, the incoming members of blue team, Jackson Ziggs. Um, so I think that Warwick was just hoping to be able to uh, nail down Leona for a bit and pick up his kill with Annie and with the help of Annie and Ezreal. Um, so we're gonna keep going here. But nice ult by Ziggs, doing a lot of damage to Ezreal, the dragon, and Warwick. Ziggs just on point with his skill shots, man. He keeps landing these clutch bouncing bombs. Uh, Warwick now taking extremely low gonna have to flash over that wall. We do see, we'll just focus on D2 right here, we do see Draven moving in. Huh? Oh really? We do see Draven moving in here trying to get some aggression on Ziggs, but again a clutch bouncing bomb, maybe not, maybe that's not gonna land actually. Um, Bane putting some uh, harass onto the, uh, the team, but she's, oh! Ordinarily I would say that Bane's not gonna be able to out-trade a Draven into straight auto attacks, but we do see her having that uh, Two level advantage, so she might be able to get it. And look at that, Leo, walking away with 160 HP. I guarantee you, if Ezreal had landed both, or even maybe one of those skill shots, he would have walked away able to see this. He, uh, he, he would have picked up that kill, or Leo would have died from Dragon. So Dragon right now, 149, prime for the smite, which it looks like Jax has. I'm not sure why he hasn't used it. Um, I really actually thought that Ezreal's gonna pick this up with his True Shot Barrage. And here it comes! Wow! I I cannot... That smite was so close. If he had, if Jax had smited that dragon a quarter of a second later, uh, Ezreal would certainly have picked it up with his Arcane Barrage. Draven gonna pick up the kill on Leo with his uh, spinning axes there. Whirling dead, yeah. So nice ult by Draven there, almost picking up double actually with the uh, ult on D2 Knight. They're not going to be able to capitalize on it, we'll speed it back up a little bit here. Um, so Vayne still putting some heavy aggression here on the purple team. And we do see all three of them are low, so she's thinking, you know what, I have a two level advantage on every single one of these people. I'm going to see if I can capitalize on that. Or no, not on Ezreal, but on uh, Annie and Draven. So we see Ezreal, less than half health. Same with Draven, and uh, Warwick's not looking too healthy either. Maybe with just the right kind of team play, they can go in and pick up a double kill here, but uh, they aren't going to turn it back out. Um, and I think it's probably a smart move. So we'll speed it back into normal here, and we're going to go back now and watch what happens at this point. I'm guessing Yasuo just got a little too aggressive again. Um, we do see, so here he is. Uh, oh, yes. He goes for the dive. Lee Sin, incredible jukes, actually. I am. Very, very impressed by that. Um, managing to get Yasuo low with those three or four tower hits that he took. Just to here watch this. Yasuo heading back in. Gonna try to dash the Lee Sin with his. And he's just not gonna have the damage, and minions are actually gonna finish him off. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Yasuo. Ah. I, I don't see Purple Team winning at this point, just because Blue Team has such an early lead for their AD carry and uh, Ziggs, their mid. 
Um, but if that weren't the case, then Yasuo would basically be taking the, uh, the brunt of the blame on himself here. Um, he started off so, with so, so much of an advantage over Lee Sin, and he just was playing so aggressively under this tower. It's only underestimated his ability to juke his, uh, <clears throat> his, his dashes and steal Tempest, uh, and lock him down under the tower. Lee Sin now 3-0, actually the low spend player on her. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm thinking actually Lee Sin's going to be able to tip the lane in his favor. Um, possibly shut down the last one. We'll just watch Jax here until he sees the place. What's going on? Pretty low, I guess he didn't go back. I think that was too. Sure. Uh, also, looking at Jax's build, I'm a little. Not a fan. He has a Vamp Scepter and then five basic items that he hasn't combined at all. He's got the cloth armor, boots, longsword, dagger. <clears throat> And he does upgrade the boots and the boots of mobility, but I just his his uh, I don't know his randomization just seems a little all over the place. Uh, let's watch this top lane. Warwick looks like he was able to lock down Yasuo with the address. Don't think we really miss anything there. Yasuo again just being a little too aggressive, staying in that top lane too long, allowing Warwick to uh, capitalize with his own address and uh, of course leads. Nice, nice play by blue team there. Uh, gonna get taken low by that tower, but nobody able to capitalize on it. Really, Ezreal does try to get the double with his uh, true shot barrage, but Jack moving in to hold off the uh, purple team with his tower. Um, the aggression from Jax. Um, Leeson taking a lot of turret damage. I think that again, if he and Warwick had a bit more coordination, they have to let a little bit more take D2 Knight down. Uh, especially considering Warwick's uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem, he does he's gonna have a lot of health plus his regen. Um, but uh, Warwick actually didn't take any tower damage there. Wow, and Zig's actually leading that team fight with the uh, the Mega Inferno Bomb, so Ezreal didn't even have time to juke by the time he was uh, Zig's first combo. Um, blue team just dominating right now. I I just don't see this going in in uh, Purple Team's favor. Uh, not terribly impressed with the um, Yasuo's play or even Jax's really. Uh, uh, he kind of had a failed gank earlier at top. Uh, I think he was a little low to be tower diving Yasuo back then. Um, or excuse me, Lee Sin. Uh, and I just, uh, just hate his itemization right now. I so Yasuo, he's just, uh, he's still thinking he has an advantage here. He is putting some nice damage down on Lee Sin, uh, and I think that part of this is that Lee Sin should have not trade that. Wow, and he does pick up that good kill on Lee Sin. I'm not surprised there, actually. I think maybe it would have been a good story if Lee Sin didn't fight back. At this point, bot lane just way, way too hard in Vayne's favor. She is 8-0 right now. Um, it's just not even going to be fair. Bot and mid just getting completely dominated by blue team now. Uh, Yasuo was really their only weak link, and he managed to pick up his first kill on Lee Sin, uh, which included the shutdown build, so that's going to be the equivalent of uh, nearly two champion kills there. So uh, Yasuo is coming back next game, looks like. <clears throat> So, uh, oh, and he's gonna go in on Ezreal. Uh, is he gonna be able to land us? Uh, Tornado, I still Tempest here. Uh, second question. Nope, he does not have his up yet. God, I would just want Ezreal so bad if I could last one. But I know he's gonna be punished. Warwick's coming up. Gonna try to land his infinite duress, I'm guessing. Uh, gonna, yep. But where's his team? No one able to capitalize on it. And if Yasuo can engage Warwick in a straight up duel, he's gonna be able to take him on. I think the only reason he's not is because he doesn't know where his teammates is. Oh, and Warwick looks like he's uh, done with his game. He's uh, slowly dancing away from Yasuo. I really don't think Yasuo needed to ult there. Um, but whatever, he picked up the kill. And he's going back anyway, so there's some uh, people down right here. So Warwick clearly already given up on this game. Pretty unfortunate for blue team, or excuse me, purple team, but uh, what do you do? I, I would agree that the game is over. Uh, purple team really just getting dominated in every, every, everywhere. Um, not really sure, Jax hasn't been much of a presence this game, to be honest. Um, 
Yeah, he his farm's a little better than Warwick, but Warwick looks like he gave up the game a while ago. So. Yeah, Jack's just kind of a blip on the radar right now. Um, you know, it, the camera actually in spectate mode is pretty smart. <clears throat> you know, it uh, not to mention that it sees three minutes into the future. Um, so I think that it says something. Oh, nice uh, sonic wave by Lee Sin there. Lee Sin desperately trying to pick himself up since kills, trying to get some uh, map dominance to bring his team back into the game. Warwick, nope, not probably not going to be a kill for Warwick because he, uh, I don't think he's trying anymore. Um, But anyway, you know, we, we rarely saw the camera focus on Jax, so I think he was just kind of farming the jungle most of the time. A little bit awkwardly, he didn't really have the full itemization. Uh, looks like this is going to be a kill on Warwick. Warwick is kind of trolling right now. Oh, nice juke. Actually, Warwick is probably coming to finish on Jax, to be totally honest. <clears throat> Vayne at this point, straight up soloing the uh, enemy bot lane. Uh, although Draven is still gonna hit pretty hard, so maybe she needs to be not quite so cocky. Um, pay a little more attention to any stuns. Notice that any. Oh, okay, there's the, uh. <coughs> there's the stun. Pyromania, or whatever it's called. Um, Yasuo gonna be hunting down Warwick. And it kinda looks like. Diggs is just giving up as well. Poor Lee Sin. Trying to go around and clean up an unplayed mess. Um, looks like hopefully he's gonna be. A oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's a great play by Ziggs, actually. Warwick definitely gonna be able to get this kill. If he ults, maybe his ult is, yep, it's on full now. Or she's on full now. And he's picking up the kill on Ziggs. Not gonna be ideal for purple team there, but, uh, not like it really makes a difference. Uh, you know, I, I think that if purple team had tried, they may have been able to bring it back. Uh, Lee Sin's actually playing pretty well. Um, he does have six kills, so he might be able to carry. Uh, I think Warwick was doing pretty well for himself before he uh, started trolling and he gave up on the game. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know. 12 0 Vayne. That's, <laughs> that's rough. I don't know if anybody comes back from that. So we do see Pro Team's Kibri going down. I have to say, I'm expecting a surrender in the Apparently, Warwick's going to Warwick, AFK at the fountain. That's gonna be the third of the uh, teammates. Meanwhile, we see blue team trying to make the make the rift there, pushing up all the lanes, farming all the jungle creeps, uh, just getting some more map dominance while purple team is basically secluded to their base right now, trying to fend off that uh, the wave. Blue team the dragon. I don't know if I see too much action there. Not really much to say at this point. Warwick is AFK. Uh, Annie and Draven, between them, have 15 deaths. Yeah, two kills. Only one of which is Draven's. Um, ooh, Zig's not quite in a misclick by Yasuo, but it uh, doesn't matter. He's gonna be able to pick up a kill on uh, Annie's support there. We do see Lee Sin and Draven coming around. Nope, Draven's not coming around. He's gonna back and stand straight from here. We see Lee Sin coming around, hopefully to help out uh, Ezra. Here. Here not gonna, gonna be too little too late. He is gonna show up, but by the time that is happening, Yasuo is already just solo to Ezra on his own power. Uh, yeah, Blue's purple is just too far at this point. Blue team doesn't even play well to be able to win this one. Yasuo's crit is through the roof. Lee Sin Able to pick up that kill actually, um, but Ziggs and Leona are gonna try to <coughs> bully Annie here. Kill um, yeah. 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 Kill. How is this not the game? Apparently it goes on another minute and a half. I don't understand how. Ezreal, uh, despite being so behind, he's still has enough presence. I think to keep Leo and Ziggs from. Uh, I'm going in. Oh, he's just gonna give up. Okay. And uh, here's some more kills on Vayne. I'm thinking we're just gonna see some kind of cocky plays here by Blue Team. Before they decide to finish this game up. There's Warwick dancing by his. Uh, 
Dancing by his Nexus, Ziggs is gonna pick up that kill, doing half as they should be. First um, phase they should be in one blast. Lee Sin able to pick himself up another kill. Lee Sin actually ending this game with a 2-1 uh, kill death ratio. Uh, so we're actually pretty impressed by that. Um, oh, Annie! Oh, you know you want that kill! There it is! Another kill for Annie, actually. Annie and Draven now even on kills. Almost gonna be able to take, out, take down Vayne too, but just not quite enough damage. Warwick looks like he's on the hunt for Vayne. Yasuo is gonna have something to say about that though. And good night, werewolf. Um, Ezreal very busy at uh, his tower or his nexus. And the inhibitor, the clutch inhibitor respawns right in time. Uh, Yasuo says, I don't care, I'm just gonna camp your nexus and. Uh, Wait for everybody to uh, spawn so I can kill you one by one. Meanwhile, awkwardly at the Nexus, uh, we have those super minions waiting. And the top uh, inhib does go down, allowing the super minions to move in and take the Nexus. I think maybe, maybe this is just gonna be insanely painful again. Watch, purple blue team's gonna just try and get that map balance, and there it is. Finished by Yasuo. Playing again. Oh, mm. right. What's that about, Mister? Nothing <laughs> works. You want me to make this two recordings or one? Oh.